morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you once again from Sims 4, where today we're going to take a look at another filler up challenge from Mrs. B. Haven. Now this one was a lot of fun because of the flat out odd shaped buildings that she chose. And by odd, I don't mean they were full of octagons or triangles or anything, but it's literally three rectangles, one piled on top of the other two which means that you're building the whole thing at angles. I loved it. This was a lot of fun. I'm actually downright thrilled with this one. Now, um, I called it her angled box shell challenge because I needed to give it a name. Now you can find Mrs. Behaven on the gallery on Twitch and you can certainly try this one yourself. Um, the rules included do not add square footage, exterior walls, do not remove or move the tree. So it included this tree right here, okay? Uh, you can change the roofs and add stairs, windows as needed. It doesn't need to be residential, so it could have been any, anything, but I did go with residential. And of course, you can use any of the packs. So I have to thank her for this one. This one was a lot of fun, and I greatly appreciated the challenge, especially this week when, quite frankly, I have not been well, and I just needed something to putter at in the evenings because... I have had very little brain power this week. So this this one is the summer home filler up. And um, oh my God, it was just fun. Let's just take a look at it because it, the exterior, clearly I built this in Strangerville. I built it specifically for the Plateau Place lot. And the idea is that it could house a small family um, or roommates. It's made for entertaining, uh, you know, and for hanging out. Uh, it could be used in many ways and it could be slightly rearranged for different careers so it has some versatility to it I basically when I saw the layout of the way she put the buildings together for us to work with the shell itself my first thought was I wanted to play with the topography I wanted to play with the terrain I haven't really done that much I have one I'm working on now that does that a little bit but this is really the first go at that I had and um, you know the, the the shell she gave us screamed modern it really screamed modern and I wanted to go completely opposite to that if I could because I thought that would challenge me more um, if you don't go with the natural shape that the natural thing that it's inclined to I think that pushes you although it would have made a great modern building setup um, but I just like I said I want I felt like doing something else so I did and this is what I came up with so obviously the first thing I did was pulled the landscape up around the property because there's one building here another building behind this tree and up above but there's a third one underneath all this hill here that's the opposite the mirror opposite of the one on the right and I decided I wanted to cover that one up so I put it on this lot so it's all facing away from the street at a different angle and then I just went at it I used a lot of the jungle pack in this one and some of the outdoor stuff but let's go ahead and just get started right here in the first building there is a first floor and a second floor um, but there's three buildings, so I kind of think of it that way. So this is the main room. This room has enough space, and well, let's go ahead and tilt the angle here, to entertain a large number of people. So you have a private seating area, a seating area to watch TV, a seating area to hang out and chit chat and, and just be together. The decorations are very eclectic, very bright. Um, I kind of thought of this person's, or the person's living here being a mix match of different heritages and people who've traveled wildly, widely. So we also have a computer area back here, a place for if there is a young person to do their homework, hang out. Um, you know, there's always somebody on a computer. That's just the way we live these days. So I went ahead with the concept that yes, this is earthy living, but of course in the day and age that we are now. And there's a small restroom here. So people can just literally hang out here in this room all day, watch TV, hang out, chat, play games, uh, be on the computer, go outside, enjoy the fresh air, the whole bit. And so it's just, I, I like this room. I want to live in this room. I, I think I do okay when I build something that I would want to live in. 
Now, if you go up the stairs, you go into the kitchen and dining area. It's a very large kitchen dining area. It includes storage for juices, a pantry kitchen area, a main cooking kitchen area. You have your laundry set up in here, and I have play tested this. That's why you'll see characters sitting in the in the room during these tours. I play test each one, have them run around, sit in everything, try everything uh, that I can think of, and do the welcome wagon so that uh, we end up making sure everything works. We even have full dinner sitting here waiting for guests at the moment because <laughs> I was testing the kitchen, so I had the character cook. Um, again, this is an eclectic room filled with stuff from around the world, different cuisine related items. The, this is the home of someone who likes to cook um, and who likes to sit and relax and enjoy the fresh air and all that good stuff. And speaking of fresh air, if you go out that door, you have a small patio surrounded by rocks um, with places to sit and enjoy the air, do some grilling, doing a little, little bit of gardening uh, with some of these potted plants. This isn't a gardener's paradise. The outdoor area is not cultivated in any way. It could be, um, but someone's got to maintain all of the, the growth on the property uh, and stuff like that. So there's enough to keep somebody interested if they want to do a little light gardening. One of the things I really enjoyed about this was, of course, there's another room under here. So I left some of this area open to allow for breezes around the underground room. I just thought that was a nice touch. So when you look in there, you can see some of those open um, air vent kind of windows, the same that are on the building here. Let's go like this, next to the front door and this back door here. There's also a fountain and some other helpful stuff to garden with. So that is the first room and the second room. So obviously the third room, you go down the stairs and here it is here. Now this one is a little trickier to see because you have to get through the trees. So I will admit that playing these rooms would be a little tricky. Um, I find I do much better if I put it in Sims 3 camera mode and I can manipulate things a little bit better and really see. Uh, but over here, let's go ahead and just take the walls completely down for a minute. We have the full bathroom and the angles of this house made it interesting because nothing is on uh, the horizontal vertical. Uh, they're all angled. So we have all these interesting little nooks to hide away or use in some interesting way. All the stairs are at an angle in a weird way. So in this particular case, I used that to the advantage in the bathroom to spread things out a little bit, um, to put a little laundry area toward the back, the laundry in the back there. It's just, you know, set up to be a larger bathroom and a nice little space to relax in. At least that's the intent. Now, because this is a very much so um, earthy structure, I thought using these tree decals would be interesting. And I kind of like the results and a nice earthy tile here in the hallway that lead to two bedrooms, two very simple bedrooms. One is for a couple and one is for a single. And it could be a teen, it could be redesigned for someone younger, or it could be for a roommate. So you have options. Each of them have plenty of closet space. The smaller bedroom has a little desk area that can be used. Uh, there's a tablet in here, not a full computer. We Oh, I loved this mirror, I have to say. Let me see if I can angle this right. Be patient with me. I'm getting better with these camera choices, but they're, they're still challenging. But I love this mirror. I also use the tiles from the, the jungle pack in the rooms um, because I thought it gave interest to the walls. It was actually an idea that my daughter gave me, wonderful girl that she is. She mentioned the idea when I was first working on this downstairs, and I was going to make it one big bedroom with a bathroom, of using the tiles on the outside of the bathroom wall into the bedroom just to make it a feature. And so I did, but I did it in each bedroom. And I think it came out very, very well. So we have one side that's decorated by the tile, and the other side, in this case, decorated by posters and pictures. And then over here we have a little more clutter. Now to cut this in angle off, I use these slats. And of course, because they go into the underground, you can't see it. It's not a problem that they're bigger than the room. So I was able to use those slats to make this extra piece of the room disappear in an interesting way. And then by putting the bed at an angle, I think the whole thing fits. 
just putting it along the wall seemed like a, a kind of obvious option and it lost a lot of wall space. So I thought this layout worked really well. I quite like it, obviously, since I kept it. Now this one has a little more traditional layout with the bed against the main wall there for anyone to use. Um, I like these lamps a lot. So I used them in both places, both in the reading nook, because I love a good reading nook and I thought this was a great use of this end of the, of the angles by putting a lamp there, neutral area, neutral corner. Um, and uh, you know, just, I would sit here and read all day. I would, cannot lie. And then of course I used the tiles on this side the same as in the other bedroom, and again, that mirror, which is absolutely adorable. A little bit of clutter here and there, something on top of each of the closets because I couldn't build a wall over the top to cut that all off um, because, again, the angles are all wrong. If we put it in build mode, you can see I can't build a wall in front of or along the side of this closet at all. The lines simply don't go that way. The grid lines show you that it's not going to work, so and that was fun. Now this particular house is the first time that I've kind of gotten much better at putting clutter around and figuring out how to do that using the tricks, the, the control nine and zero, uh, move the, uh, the big object out of the way, put the little object in and put the big object under it, all that kind of stuff that I see Twitch users uh, doing all the time without thinking about it. I'm starting to get better at that. So some of this cluttering I'm much happier with than I have been in some of my previous builds. But I would love to hear what you guys think. What would you have done with this space? How would you have managed it? Uh, again, if you want, you can try it. Go to Mrs. Behaven to her, um, her gallery and pick up the shell and, and try it yourself. And let me know how it turns out because I would be very curious to see. I loved this particular challenge. I'm, I'm absolutely tickled with how it came out. So I just found it interesting. I started off in one path just going for something southwesterny in my head and ended up going completely to the jungle with it and I love it and I would love to see what you guys would make of the same challenge. Oh and I almost forgot to mention I love putting these pots over the mailbox. That's the only thing I wasn't able to make sure it worked though. I have no idea if they'll be able to pay their bills in that mailbox or not but I still love the idea of doing that so hopefully it works. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be it for me today, folks. If you do decide to take up Mrs. Behaven's challenge, um, feel free to share what you're creating. Uh, if you want to join us in Discord, you can share a link there to your own gallery or to your um, video if you make one, or just leave some information below in the comments below this video so we can go and find you and take a look at what you've built today. I love sharing and I love seeing what other people do. This is Little Daffodil thanking you as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.